Project Lead the Way students. Today we're going to talk about the bevel gear assembly, one of my favorite gears of all times. Uh, the first thing you'll see is it's over here on this end of the wall. Uh, the first thing we want to talk about is what angle these gears are at. So you'll notice they're not, they're no longer in a line and they're no longer parallel. They're actually at a 90 degree angle. They're just like this. The next thing is, is the speed increase, decrease, or is it constant? You'll notice that these gears are the same. Now there's three different kinds of bevel gears and these are the straight bevel gears but when these are the same then you're going to have the speed be constant. You're also going to have the torque be constant because they are exactly the same. But let's talk about what happens if I change these up. If I put a larger gear, larger bevel gear on the input then I would actually be increasing speed because this would have to go around more times to one turn of the input. Likewise, if I made the, the output shaft the larger bevel gear, and this would be smaller, then I would be increasing my torque and it would go slower. So the next thing is, what is the gear ratio? In this situation, you have one and one, they're exactly the same, and that's exactly what the gear ratio is, a one to one ratio. So let's talk about this flow of power. If I move it right here, I can move it this way, I can move it this way, and I actually can even take this off, put it on the other side, and I can actually move it on this side as well. So that would be absolutely that you can, uh, the flow of power can be reversed. The last thing, let's talk about where you can find this baby. You can find this in so many different things. It's one of the most popular gears that are out there to be used. One of the gears is what you would call a hand mixer. So if you look inside the hand mixer, you can actually see the big gear has two little gears on the bottom end of on the, underneath it. And that, those gears, actually each one of them make one of the little beaters move. The second thing I want to show you is a can opener. Now this is not at a 90 degree angle, this is at a smaller angle. But when I twist this, you'll notice that the gears are beveled and that they move. But there's more than just that. We have hand drills, you can find bevel gears in car differentials, garage doors, escalators. There are so many uses for a bevel gear, it's one that you want to get to know. Well, Project Lead the Way students, this is the end of this video. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to take the quiz. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow.